G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today we're doing my full review of the Deco M5 or the Deco AC1300 from TP-Link. This is a whole home mesh Wi-Fi setup designed to fill your whole home in Wi-Fi seamlessly. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Now I've recently moved over from Vodafone's NBN modem, which wasn't too bad. It was just one unit and it covered most of the house, but not all of it. So I had to ask myself, was I gonna be missing out here by going with the M5s or was I gonna be adding to what I already had and complementing the NBN system that I had in the house? Now for me, a couple of issues that I had was no Wi-Fi once I got out the front, so if I was ever working in the car or anything out like that out there, I'd get dropouts or working in the garden and no Wi-Fi once I got to the shed or in the corner of the yard. Quite often where we would have fires on a Friday or Saturday night and the Wi-Fi could drop in and out out there as well. So I didn't really have full coverage. So I got the Deco M5. This is their statement. Fast, stable, everywhere. And that's how they describe the home mesh Wi-Fi system with the M5s. And I'd have to say, so far, this is my experience as well. A couple of quick specifications. You have quad-core CPU, wireless 400 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz, and 860 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz, compatible with IPv6, Internet Protocol version 6. But one of the things I really like when it comes to the specs is the size of it. The footprint of this thing is tiny. Not much rounder than a big coffee cup and about three or four centimeters high. So really good in terms of its style. You have an LED notification light on the top. On the back, you have a couple of ports for your Cat6 cables, and you also have a port for your power as well. So again, really minimal. Little bit of branding here, TP-Link, that's about it. So here I was getting ready to set it all up, thinking I need about four hours to do this. I'm going to be unplugging the router and changing this and changing that, and it's going to take forever, downloading applications and blah, blah, blah. And I was really pleasantly surprised. And I'm talking 10 minutes to set up the first one. I have three of these units, and it literally took me 10 minutes to set up the first one. The second and third one took about three minutes each. And I'm telling you, it was as simple as download the application, plug in the unit, connect it to the application, and just follow the steps in the application. It was so easy. And probably the main thing that anyone would wanna do is make sure that you name your new Wi-Fi or mesh system, whatever you wanna call it, the same name and password as your previous setup. That way, everything will connect seamlessly and automatically. And that's what I did. So I've got like, 40 smart devices in the house. That's phones, laptops. Change your password in here to what the old router was. Seamless. Nothing disconnected, nothing had problems reconnecting. It was just plug and play. For me, it's one of the easiest things I've had to set up in a long time. Now, I touched on this briefly just before, and that's the, the design of the M5s. They're small, elegant, they fit in really nice to a modern house and they're easy to hide too. I mean, some people wouldn't mind having this sitting out in the lounge room somewhere where it's visible and others might not want it. They might want it tucked away and hidden and you could do that as well because of the footprint of it. It is really small and really well designed. You cannot see any of mine around the house. You wouldn't know I had a modem, whereas with the old one that I had, you knew I had a modem. It was huge and it stood out like dog's mouth. It's only 12 centimeters wide and 3.8 centimeters tall. Now, day-to-day -day use of the Deco M5s has been pretty pleasant as well. It has been quite simple for me. Once you set it all up, you can go through and find your devices on it and name them and allocate those devices to certain people. And that was quite easy. So there's five of us in the house, the oldest daughter, she's got a phone, a smart speaker, some light bulbs, a laptop, a desktop. So everything that's hers gets allocated to her. Then I can monitor what's going on on her devices and same with my 15 year old and my seven year old. And I can put time limits to how long they're on the internet for 
and what they're actually doing on the internet as well. So I can ban certain sites, certain types of content, times, I can have control over what's coming into my house. And that's important for a young family with the internet. It's too easy to open the floodgates and let everything come into your house. But with the Deco M5s, I've got a lot more control than what I had previously. And it actually made it really quite simple, a very easy process to follow. One of the main reasons I did get it though was because I didn't have proper coverage throughout the property. I mean, most of the house I got coverage, but I didn't in the front corner section of the property. And that's because of brick walls, the distance it takes to get out there for the Wi-Fi, so I'd get constant dropouts and disconnects out there. And now I don't, that's all. It connects all the way around the front of the house. And the other area was out in the back shed and in the back corner of the garden. But now I have three of these. So I've got one of these in the middle of my house, one in the front carport and one in the back bedroom. And that covers the whole property. And when it comes to day-to-day -day usage, you think with five people in the house, we're all on their smart devices watching our own thing. That's a lot of bandwidth and we never once had buffering issues, lagging internet, uh, never had disconnects. No one ever complained about the speed. No one was ever saying, dad, the internet slowed down. I can't watch my show or anything like that. I had constant good speed through the house at all times. Mind you, this is on Australia's MBN network where I have 100 megabits download and 40 megabits upload speeds. So you've got to take that into account as well, but we have not had any complaints about the internet, the speed of the internet and the quality of the service that we're getting. It does give you the option to allocate devices to priority internet, but I actually haven't had to, to be honest with you. I mean, I've been working from home We've all been homeschooling lately because of this pandemic. I haven't had to allocate priority to my computer or to the school computers. Everyone's been able to access everything they need to do. So having the ability to actually prioritize certain devices hasn't been an issue, but it is there if you do need it to. You can also partner up your smart lights and smart devices to these as well. So you've got the one application there for your modem, your Wi-Fi, and you can also set up your TP-Link smart bulbs. You can also set up your Philips Hue ones. You can use this with Amazon Alexa. You can also use this with If This Then That. Unfortunately, at this stage, it's not currently working with Google, but hopefully they will integrate that in the near future. And one other little bug that I do have to mention is I can't actually access my TP-Link cameras, security cameras, through the app either. I do have to go through the app individually, so the Casa app or the Tapo app. Now, when it comes to the security of the Deco M5s, you do get some built-in services that are handy to have. It has a malicious content filter, so you can filter out the content you don't want coming into your house. It also has an intrusion prevention system to stop people outside getting into your home network, and the security is enough to keep people out. And it also has infected device quarantine. So if it does detect that your device is infected with malware, it will quarantine that device and not let it share information across the rest of the network. That's a nice security feature to have. TP-Link is currently partnered with Trend Micro to offer these security features. So I do get some comfort and peace of mind around what's coming into my home. Like I said, especially with young family, I'd like to be able to control a bit more what content is coming into my house. And I do get that option with the Deco M5s. So if I'm gonna sum it all up, for me, the Deco M5s scream simplicity. It is so easy to set it up and so easy to use, yet it's not so simple that it's lacking in features. There's a lot of features in here. It was just really easy process to transition across to the M5s. I've got more coverage in my house, easy to use, easy to understand, it has just been very easy, the whole process. So if you're looking for some home mesh Wi-Fi, then I'd say the Deco M5s should definitely be considered. And I'm gonna put links down below if you do wanna look at picking these up, because I really do recommend them. I'm really happy to have them in the house. Amazon, eBay, TP-Link, links all down below to all of those sites. Pick one up if you do feel like it. I I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I am very happy with the TP-Link Deco M5s. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out. So I do get blah blah doo blah. -blah. Testing. Testing. Do
doing my full review and today we're doing AC 1300 TP-Link 